Hello guys, I am back. This reading is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. We're going to see who this person is and what they want with you. Let's see. I'm going to pull some Romance Angels cards as a platform for this reading. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Hmm. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Have some of you just met someone? Or is this someone from your past? Huh. New love. Answer that question, huh? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. With this card, I, I don't necessarily feel for some of you that it is new love. It may be somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while that you're not expecting. But for some of you, it is definitely a new love on the horizon. Somebody has sparked your, your interest here. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Now, this is the thing. I didn't show you that card. For, for some of you, I'm getting that this is something that has not um, occurred yet. Let's see. Trying to make sure that stays in frame. Um, something that you're not expecting for some of you. Some of you, this is a new person that you already know, and maybe you're kind of wondering about them. For some of you, this is somebody old that is trying to uh, basically reinvent themselves, if you want to say that, okay? And that's trying to make an appearance back into your life, okay? So, let me move these out the way, because that is for you versus them. I'm going to use the Vice Versa Tarot to see who this is. And then I'm going to clarify. forget what deck this is right here. This one right here, if you can see it, is um, barely in the frame. And then we're going to go in and see what they want with you with my tea leaf cards here. Okay. Who is this person? Who is this person that's an Aries energy? Uh huh. Eight of Cups. But you see, it's in reverse. This is them walking away. <laughs> this side is them coming back. Okay, Piscean energy. Somebody that I guess when you left left off, you weren't um, vibing. You weren't. Your energy was like combating each other you know and that was the reason why they had to leave honestly because you guys weren't getting along um both of you probably were emotionally spent not just them you know but i think for you and this really bothers you they checked out before you did they checked out before you were ready to check out is what i'm hearing here and it left you feeling very hurt very hurt but they're thinking about what they did and they're sorry for what they did i'm seeing a lot of cards there but i do see the page of cups here this person's sorry for what they did they are sorry for what they did yes i feel like this is the knight of wands not knight of wands but that is a knight of wands they did they left They left. This is a side with them coming in. But this is them basically riding off like a thief into the night. Taking your feelings and your heart with them. <laughs> They're thinking about what they did. They're thinking about what a mistake they made with you. Sagittarius energy here and when I speak about energy guys it doesn't necessarily have to be their sign 
but it's the energy that they're exhibiting. You know, maybe they are usually a trustworthy person, but if if they were feeling unsure at one point, they may come here as Sagittarius, with Sagittarius energy rather. The one that dips in and out, blows hot and cold. So they were definitely blowing hot and cold with you at one point, this person. Hmm. And they left. And I feel that um, this person didn't really want to leave. They really didn't want to leave, and I feel like they've always their heart has always been with you. Their heart has always been with you. Then we have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy here. This person felt like there was something um, better suited for them somewhere else. Whether that's with a woman, whether that's by themselves, um, just with somebody else in general, or just basically not being in a connection with you at one point. This is who this person is. This Taurus energy. They were out there giving to the world and taking from you. They were giving to the world. They weren't all in. They may have told you that they were all in, but they weren't all in. They weren't all in and they really felt like they wanted to be single here with this Nine of Pentacles energy, this Virgo energy. But I tell you this, whatever whatever this person did and how they made you feel, basically they were projecting onto you because they lacked the confidence. They really didn't feel um, financially stable. They weren't confident in, in themselves. They lacked self-confidence, this person. I feel like romantic feelings have been stirred in them. They feel like they want to start over with you. They feel like you guys are their soulmate. I feel like this person no longer wants to be away from you. They do not want to be single from you. They do not. You know, I'm going to pull some of these cards for clarification. But that's pretty cut and dry for me. I'm just going to lay some cards here just for clarification for you. The tower. Yeah, there was a breakup here. Scorpio energy. They walked away. But there's something that they realized about this situation with you. I feel like this person was very angry. They just were not stable. And I think you sensed this. And I think you um, witnessed this a lot of the times. They weren't stable. They needed to work on themselves and that's why they left with that Eight of Pentacles. They didn't tell you that, of course. That one wanted to turn over and flip back over. Queen of Pentacles there on top of the Six of Pentacles. They, I feel like they've gotten themselves together. They've gotten themselves together. I think, you know, they were looking for outside influences to make them, to build them up, to fill them up. And I think they've realized now that they've made a huge error in judgment with you guys here. Then we have the Knight of Wands coming again on the end. We saw the Knight of Wands going away here. But this is the Knight of Wands coming back in here. Wanting to be wanting to be with you guys. The only thing about this person is that they're still not that stable because you know their thoughts are with you, and then it's like, nah, I can't do that. I can't go back. You know, but their feelings are so very real and so very strong for you guys. But they still are not um, solid in making a decision about where they want. Um, to go with you. They know how they feel about you. I feel like this is more about whether or not how you guys will um, receive them if they came back because of how they left. What do they really want with Aries? 
What do they really want with Aries? To nest. They want a loving family situation. And they want to be victorious. I'll hold these up so you guys can read them. They want a successful family situation with you. Here. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. Let me move it back so. That's what they want. Whether or not they take action to do it remains to be seen, guys. Okay? So that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.